Okay, are you guys ready for part 14 of Monsters in My Pockets? Monsters in My White Pocket, that is. We're in the desert resort. We're not going to launch the Seeger Communications because we don't want our battery to die. That's right. By the way, I guess that sort of stuff, that uh, Seeger stuff, totally gets negated in any ROMs and stuff, right? Because you don't have the actual cartridge. Trollolololol! Funny. Okay. What we're going to do, you guys know what we're going to do. We're going to start each video with a grind session. Today we're going to grind Blair. Uh, that sounds a little bit bad because of its female name when we're grinding Blair. Uh, and we're also going to grind Justin. We're not going to grind Justin into Blair. No, we're not going to do that. Uh, Blair is actually super effective to Justin, which is kind of funny. Oh, that actually makes perfect sense because their types are correct. Um, anyway, I'm going to quit rambling. You guys are going to do one of two things. You're either going to watch... Blair get leveled up and evolved while I play unfitting music, or you're going to click an annotation that's going to skip past this malarkey.
Okay, so that was good enough, I guess. Blair is now level 31.99. And she's level 31.99 because I remember there's something I want to test in this video. Uh, we're going to do something a little bit different than what I mentioned. We're not going to go straight in and fight... Um, what's her name? Elisa. Elisa. Whatever you want to say. The, uh... Supposedly supermodel electric gym leader. Um, looking forward to seeing that. I think we've only had male electric gym leaders. We had, uh... Valkner. I kept wanting to say Dingy, which is his Japanese name, but, uh... Valkner. Not Falconer. Valkner. And we had Watson and Lieutenant Surge. So we've only had male um, electric gym leaders. And I think one of the motifs of the electric gyms is that they all tend to be uh, in some sort of military attire that was started off obviously with, with, with Lieutenant Surge but uh, continued on since then. I went ahead and set the bike on this just because the bike music is so awesome. Um, get out of my way, dude. Unfortunately, the sand is uh, not very conducive to biking. So... Right, now we can get on the bike. No, I don't have to open the menu to do it anymore. So, uh, what we're going to do, you remember in the last part, we had our Pokedex evaluated, and Professor Juniper told us that she had an item waiting for us back in Nuvema Town. So, well, this is great. Now we can get across this bridge really fast. I won't, ha I won't even have to speed this up because of the, uh, because of the bike now, because this bike is really fast. Um, looking forward to seeing how it goes across the bridge. Anyway, uh, we were going to go back to Nevima Town, so we're going to do a little bit of backtracking in this video. And get some items, and uh, I'm going to do an important test for the sake of science, which uh, everyone watching this video probably already knows. But anyway, so here we go. Here's the Sky Arrow Bridge with the bike. Um, we are on the bike, right? Yeah, we're going pretty fast. We appear to be on the bike anyway. So yeah, uh, this is probably going to be the new egg hatching route, I'm going to assume. The lo it's usually whatever is the longest stretch of grass or uh, road that you can just hold one direction at. And I'd say that's definitely a long time to be holding the button, so... Yeah, Sky Arrow Bridge, probably where eggs will be hatched, I would say. And I'm off the bike now. Why am I off the bike? Anyway, I appear to have been riding it across the bridge, so... Yeah, I like, I like, really like this forest, by the way. How there's a path straight through it, if you don't want to go through all the exploring places. Okay, so here we are in Nacreen City. But uh, the first place I think we're going to go is out here. And let's see, how do I want to set this up? Okay, what we're going to test is the Eviolite. We're going to do two tests with this thing. Um... First thing we're gonna test, and uh, hopefully, let's see, is there double battle grass before this? Um, I don't think so. Anyway, Blair has 92 to level up, so that's okay, I guess. Um, let's see, I want to make sure that she. Uh, let's see, who has the best? Who's got some really good physical defense? Um, Billy does. See, what's a, okay, what's a really weak attack against Billy? Anything dark, right? So, okay, let's do this with, okay, never mind. Let's do this with Sally instead and be better, be a better option. Um, but then I'm, well, yeah, I, I need to do it with, with Aaron. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any double battle grass before this. Actually, I think that there is. So, uh, yeah, let, let's go... Let's keep going for right now. Let's see, and we can activate the dowsing machine as well as the bike at the same time. That's nice. Okay, so yeah, let's go. Yeah, I was going to do it right here, but I think there may be some double battle grass before this. Um, so here's the, this is the Wellspring Cave, right? Yeah, we haven't been back up here in a while. And the uh, bike... Yeah, I don't see too much blurriness on my screen, so that's really good. Okay, there's uh, yeah, we already see an item here. However, uh, we may need the 
Surf to get it. It's a possibility. It's above here. Oh, no, no, no. Around here. Ball mushroom. Okay, it's, it was in the tree. Um, new, new, uh, new mushroom. Let's see what this is. If it's uh, another cell item or if it's something, an actual hold item. We're gonna see. Ball mushroom. Here's our tiny mushroom. Ball mushroom. Where's this at? Here we go. Oh, okay. A rare mushroom which gives off a nice fragrance. A maniac will buy it for a high price compared to the tiny mushroom, which is only sought after by collectors. Okay. Cool. We can't get across there to fight that fisherman. So let's get our stuff back together. Oh, we have another another item up this way. Um, looks like we probably can't get to it until we have surf, however. I love this bike music. Like, seriously, best bike music ever. Except that bike is not being conducive to stuff right now because I'm moving too fast. Holy crap! Like, I could see this bike music as the stage music on a Sonic the Hedgehog game, stage one. Something like that. Which is pretty much perfect for bike music, so. Um. So we didn't do anything. This is Striaton Town, right? Or city. Route 2. Now I'm back in Striaton, though. Yeah, Striaton City. Okay. Okay, here we are in Route 2. Oh, okay. Here's a place we can cut. I didn't know that before. Um, but we don't really have anyone with cut or anyone I want to teach cut right now. So, oh, oh, here's an Audino. We see uh, randomly in the grass. It's going to be low level, though. I think. So we're going to put Aaron up here and let Aaron fight this Audino for us. And get off the bicycle. Yeah, so Ripley Grass means that it's an Audino encounter, right? And this Audino is, yeah, it's only level 4. But uh, it should still give it probably like 100 experience or so. Quick break. Let's see how much it gives. Probably not too much at all, really. Um, 52, yeah. I mean, we are really way higher level than it, so that's kind of to be expected. Anyway, turn on the dowsing machine again. Because we did not have the dowsing machine this early in the game, so there may be some hidden items that we need to pick up. Yeah, we can't get this way. We could, but I choose not to because I don't want to teach anyone cut. Yeah, just a bunch of trainers in this route, mostly. So yeah, we're going to head back to Nuvema Town. I don't remember if there's any double battle grass before that area or not in Route 3. But that's what we're going to use to test this stuff. Here we are in Accumula Town. And, uh, yeah, we don't see any... This is where, uh, Creepy Dude made his speech. Yeah, that's where we saw those items. I think that was just some potions and stuff we got. Okay, yeah. Anything new down here? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna go... We're just gonna head back to Novemma Town. Here we are back on Route 1, where we met Rebecca. Who is no longer with us. Oh, and here's, uh, some C. Um, let's check the town map. Because I know I saw some other routes in a previous video that kind of extended from Nuvema Town. Um, looks like this may be how you get to the P2 Laboratory, whatever that is. I don't know if it's, if it's associated with Porygon 2 or not. That would be kind of funny. Okay, cool. Got through there. And here we are back in Nuvema Town, town where we started the game. Let's go in here. And here's Juniper. Oh, she has that pat rat she caught in the first episode. Nice, uh, town, nice uh, music here. How have you been lately? How's your po- Yes, look at my Pokedex. 48, give me stuff! Like an experience share would be nice. Oh, nice! TM54 false swipe! Awesome! Awesome, awesome, awesome! Now we can catch the dudes and not worry about fainting them. That's awesome. That's really freaking sweet. Okay, cool. Let's see what can learn this move. Um... TM case. All swap. Very glad to see it's still a TM. I think that's the same number, too. Wouldn't it be awesome if False Swipe had like 120 power or some crap like that? Then it would actually be useful. 
Uh, however, no one um, in my party can learn it right now. Uh, so, I don't think Kathy can learn it. Most of the time, birds don't. And my only other guy in the PC is Justine, who is a lower level crocodile. Or, cro not crocodile. Uh, sandile. Sandile. So, now let's, let's stop in here and see it. Because sometimes your mom gives you gifts. How are your Pokemon? Yeah, we should uh, get a little heal up here. So, false swipe. We get false swipe from here. Okay. Level zero Pokemon at the daycare. I get. Okay. I guarantee you. Well, actually, that will probably stay the same. But when I get to breeding, actually on here, uh, that will go up. <laughs> that will go up. But anyway, I already sort of have a plan for what I'm gonna do with fifth gen breeding, as far as what guys I'm going to make first, and uh, I will try to stick to that. One of my goals is gonna be to actually finish Team Mega. And, you know, if possibly focus more on quantity than quality of guys. Just so I can complete the team. I care more about completing the team than I do about necessarily winning a bunch of Wi-Fi battles. So, I care more about completing the team and breeding the team and having the team than I do about using the team. Because that's how I roll. But anyway. Not really worth, not really worth killing these things. I want to see how much experience we get. Just for killing this level 4 Purloin. Probably like 10. 8. Yeah, I was going to say 8 or 10. So yeah. Another thing about the sliding experience system is that uh, if you have... It's a little bit like Fire Emblem with having a really high level character kill all the bad guys for you. Uh, you know, They gain like 1 experience from it. And, well, unlike in Pokemon, in Fire Emblem, you know, you have very limited resources for experience, at least in most of the games, because there are no random battles, Sacred Stones being an exception, and possibly a few other titles. But, uh, you only have a certain number of enemies, so there's only a limited amount of experience you can get in the game. And if you let your high-level characters take it all, they, and they take less, uh, they gain less experience, like, you know, like that then you're gonna be behind and screw yourself. So you have to level up even, uh, relatively evenly or you're gonna get screwed in those games. A little bit less true in this game because there are wild fights and you can grind up if you need to. But, meh, whatever. Okay, so, um, yeah, this, this grass is double battle grass. And what we're gonna do, we can have the weakest attack against Eren right now because she's dark fighting is Sally's Assurance. So we're going to use Sally's Assurance. And our, see our first, first we're going to do this without the Evia Light. We are assuming that Aaron does evolve. So we're going to get like a scratch pad somewhere. I, I always keep a notebook around here. Here's a piece of paper. Pencil please. Pencil. I'm so I'm you know I could I guess I could just use the computer, that would work too, and then I could put stuff in a spreadsheet and stuff that would be cool, but uh, we're not gonna put stuff in a spreadsheet. Okay, let's boot up Notepad. Okay, so we're gonna track how much damage with Evia Light and with not non Evia Light. Okay, we're gonna take track how much damage Aaron takes from Sally's stuff. Okay, obviously we need double battles to do this. So, here we go. And these things shouldn't be a real threat to me. I mean, they're level, what, 11? Yeah, le level 11. So they shouldn't be a significant threat. Um, what we will do first, though, is kill off one of the guys. Or will we? Nah, screw it. Okay, let's go ahead and do ass Assurance. Right, we're going to see how much this is without Evia Light, right? Without Evia Light. So we're doing research. Research right now is what we're doing. 
Sally Assurance does. If I kill one of my own guys... Oh, crap, I mistargeted that. Oh, well. And then this Brick Break's gonna kill. Oh, well. Yeah, like, if I kill one of my own guys... Seriously. I mean, I, I don't see how this Assurance is going to kill Aaron though, as she 4x resists it, but whatever. Anyway. And we also need to make sure no one levels up to screw with our calculations. And now uh, this is a single battle. So we're just... I guess I, guess I can still kill these things. So, no three... Well... Well, I either need to kill the things or not. Let's, how many... How much experience does Aaron have to next level? Um... 26. Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and kill these things. Let's go ahead and get Aaron leveled up, and uh, I'll just feel better about that anyway. Just sort of taking hits unnecessarily, really. 56. Okay, that's actually more than I thought. 24. All right. Yeah, we get some defense gain. Get some defense gain. Okay, here we go. This is a single battle, though. I kind of wish it was guaranteed double, but it's not. Yeah, any pit of we're probably gonna run from because I don't want to get critted and stuff. That'd be bad. Not no uh, no critical hit air cutters on Aaron, please. Very bad stuff. Very bad stuff. More singles. We don't need singles. We need doubles because I need some sort of set damage without being set damage. By the way, Nightshade, very annoying from uh, that uh, Yamask thing, which was much more common in the grind session than I wanted it to be, but oh well. Okay, here we go. We have a... Let's sell on a path trap. Okay. Yeah, we, we are, uh, we're pretty fine against these. Okay. Uh, we're gonna have Brick Break go on the Blitzel, and we're going to Assurance on Aaron. We're gonna see how much this does. From 55. Sally's Assurance, 55. 55 to 48, so that is 7 damage with the Evia Light. No, without the Evia Light. Without the Evia Light, 7 damage. And I mean, this probably isn't going to be really enough to uh, tell us some stuff, but anyway. Um, okay, we're going to sand attack the Petret. Assurance. Oh crap, I didn't pay attention to how much that was. Oh, I forgot Patrat has keen eye. Okay, well, whatever. We're going to, um. Are we really gonna waste health with restore items on this? Yeah, we are. Yeah, we're gonna restore that. And then we're going to use Assurance on Aaron. Fresh water. Aaron back up. And 58 to. 58 to 55, so that only dealt 3 damage. Was that a crit before? That seems like a lot of damage variation. Um, anyway, yeah, we're gonna continue to waste sand attack on the thing. And keep doing assurance on Aaron. I, could, I need to stop doing that. I, I, I keep forgetting to check how much HP I have before and after, which is kind of the main point, so... Okay, 47. 47 to 44. That's another 3 damage. Was that, a, was that a crit before and I didn't notice? Seriously. Because it's like not dealing nearly as much damage now. 44. To 41. I'm going to guess that that was a crit before because there's no way it would vary that much. So. And this is also without Ivia Light. So, yeah, this isn't dealing enough damage, I don't think, to her. Um, let's see what else we can do. Uh, Sally can't really... Hmm. Okay, we're just gonna run from this, because I, I don't think that the, uh, I don't think that this three damage, it, it's not really gonna be that helpful with figuring stuff out, so... Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get a heal up. No, that's just really a waste of 200. Let's... Crap. Okay, it's a single battle anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna find something that's a little bit stronger to use against Aaron. Just, just a little bit stronger, mine. Potentially, uh, well, no, I don't want to do Crunch, because Crunch may lower defense. I don't want that. But, uh, perhaps, like, a Blair Tackle or something along those lines would work. Or possibly something from Justine. Let's check out Justine. 
Yeah, we are gonna go ahead and pick up while we're in Necrine City. We are gonna go ahead and pick up our fossil guy. Um, A180 at some point mentioned that I should pick up the first option on something that occurred in the future, and I think he was referring to that. Um, that wasn't what I based my decision on, though. I based my decision on that Archaeopteryx thing, which, by the way, felt really good to figure out. I mean, it was kind of obvious. It was not that hard to link together th that information, but it was fun to just to be able to do it. So, I, enjo I enjoyed being able to just figure that out um, and link that information together on my own with the whole plumage and it's a fossilized something with a bird. A fossilized bird is an Archaeopteryx. A bird Pokemon is flying type. We already have flying type, so we don't pick the Archaeopteryx. So that's what I base my decision on. So again, knowing nothing for definite, but just following some logical conclusions. So that was fun to do. I enjoyed doing that. So anyway, I don't know why I, don't... I need to use the bicycle. Whoa! What's that? Holy crap! Um. Okay. Some sort of dot in the water. Um. I think this may be one of those Audino like things. Um, we don't have surf or much less a fishing rod, so we can't really interact with this thing right here. But I, I think I think this is one of these rare things, sort of like Audino. I don't know if it's an experience mine like Audino, but it's uh, some sort of rare dude that randomly appears, I guess, in various bodies of water. But unfortunately, we have no way to interact with him right now, so. Whatever this thing is, I don't know what it is, but uh, we're gonna have to pass it up, unfortunately. So, let's see what we're gonna do. We're gonna put Justine. This is who we're gonna use because Justine is weaker, but uh, we can do a mud slap, I think, and that'll be good because Aaron has good special defense. I don't know. We'll have, we'll have to see how much this mud slap does, but at least Aaron doesn't forex resist it. So, okay, let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, double battle, come on. Single battle this time. We can tell by the music. And I suppose I could actually be killing these things, but uh, meh, I don't want to waste the time. I'd rather get this experiment done with and get our new, our new whatever it is, cover plate, right? Okay, here's a, a pit of, which we're going to kill. We should be faster than the pit of. Um, yeah, let's, let's do a, let's do a headbutt, that should, or no, never mind, let's do a brick break, brick break, break, on the pit of, and let me check who's faster, um, okay, actually Justine is faster, so, what should we do, um, I, I don't know, I want that pit of dead, I'm just I'm just gonna torment the Blitzel. And make sure something stupid doesn't happen. There we go. Brick break. Okay, cool. Now we can start testing how much damage this does. And we see we need it to do some damage, but not like a ton. So okay, we're gonna mud slap on Aaron and see how much this does. Fifty-five. Okay, it's only doing three damage, so uh, we need to do a stronger attack. Stronger attack than that. I need something that does like five to ten damage. Shockwave. I know this thing has shockwave this level. Unfortunately, it's not dealing too much damage, but uh, we need to go ahead and kill this thing then, if that's the case. So uh, Justine's gonna get a little bit of experience right here. Like I want, to, I want to test this, but. I'm trying to figure out how can I test it safely, you know, without, um, risking one of my guys. I guess I could do it on Justine, because, uh, yeah, let's do that. That, because that way if I screw up and lose Justine, it's not as big a deal as if I lose Aaron. So, yeah, let's test this on Justine. And, yeah, she has worse defense anyway. So uh, we're gonna do, we're gonna use Sally again, and we're gonna see, we're gonna try the Assurance, try Assurance again. Single battle grass this time though. 
And uh, Blitzel will not be a threat, but um, actually no one will be a real threat. Mostly Blitzel will be the, uh, the threat, I think, or no, Blitzel will be not a threat because of being ground type and Sally's over leveled. And it's two pit ofs, which um, I guess that's okay. Um, let's see, let's let's kill the that pit of. And if we end up to kill both of them, that's fine. Because pit of, I don't know. I'd rather be fighting a path rat or something stupid like that. Okay, cool. So yeah, we're going to just knock out the level 11 pit of. And Moxie activates now. And attack rises. Okay, so that's how that works. It is just the normal, straight up, um, thing. So yeah, okay, yeah. We can't we can't be fighting pitos with this, for this test because they're gonna use leer and screw our stuff. So yeah, we can't do that. We can't have that going on. Can't be doing that. So back to back assurance. Smacking stuff around. Yeah, Moxie activates again. Pretty interesting ability. Definitely is suited for a sweeper. And it's pretty obvious that that is meant for a sweeper. And I think it's sort of pretty much built like a sweeper, it seems to be. Maybe. I don't want to fight Pitos. Pitos lower my defenses and stuff and screw up my stat calculations. Ugh. Like, all of this information I'm trying to glean could be obtained in about five seconds if I would just hit up, like, Cerebi or somewhere, but I want to find it out for myself, you know? So maybe maybe I should uh, have an annotation up to skip all this stuff, too. Probably. Come on, give me double battles! I need double battles, not singles! I need doubles! I need doubles. Double, double, double. Gosh, stop being singles. This is double battle grass. At least Justine doesn't have Moxie or doesn't have Intimidate. Here we go, finally. Okay, let's kill the pit of. Kill the pit of, because I, I don't remember if Lily Pup has Leer or not. But anyway. Yeah, we're going to Assurance. Back to back on the, uh, or actually. Actually, we're going to Mud Slap on. No, not Mud Slap. We're going to Mud Slap. We'll kill it. Or will it? Oh, let's go ahead and Mud Slap the Lily Pup. Oh, wait. Does. Oh, yeah, we have Torment. Okay. Yeah, we're going to Mud Slap the Lily Pup. And we're gonna heart stamp the pit of. Actually, I should have used the uh, air cutter because pit of special defense is weaker. But stab heart stamp will kill it anyway. So mud slap. Don't kill. Store accuracy. There we go. Good. 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 Okay. Okay. So we're going to we're gonna do torment on this lily pup, and we're gonna do assurance on Justine. Forty eight. 48 down to 36 so that dealt 12 damage right okay so that's 12 damage good that's we needed about that much okay 12 fight super effective but doesn't deal too much and yeah we're gonna keep healed up I'm aware that we're like wasting fresh waters and stuff but uh I'm cool with that and yeah because we, we just need to we need to establish a base case for how much damage this is dealing and I think the 12 damage is probably pretty good. Okay, 53 went down to 42, so that's 11 damage. No. That's... No, yes. Yes, 11 damage. Yes, 11 damage. Right? Yes. Okay. Cool. Um, and then we're going to do another... We're going to do Mud Slap again on this Lily Pup. And we're going to continue to do that to see... Kind of account for damage variation, pretty much. 42 down to 30, so that dealt 12 damage. Um, so yeah, so we're, we may do uh, one more. One more, and then we're gonna go get a heal up, I think. Fight on Sally. These things know how to type trump. Okay, one more assurance on Justine. 30. HP went down to... 
Holy freaking crap! Four, okay. Are you freaking kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Um, on the upside, that was 24 damage, which was exactly what it was supposed to do. No, no, it wasn't. It was, it was 26. Okay! This is why we should have done the Eviolite first. Well, at least we didn't lose Aaron and we lost Justine. Well, that's just absolutely great. Great, okay, so, we killed our own guy. Really? Really, Sally? Well, actually, Sally didn't kill him. The lily pup did, and it had like minus three stages on its accuracy, and it still hit it, so, whatever, that's, uh, that annoys me, but at least it wasn't a guy we needed to have right now, but it's still absolutely stupid. So, um, yeah, we tried to do, it's kind of like Xerxes in his, uh, recent battle with, who was that with? I don't know, but he was doing something with Sucker Punch and Fake Out, and, uh, trying to do something for the name of science, and, uh, I really feel like we should be able to get that guy back, because, and not have it count, because we were, we were researching, and we were doing not for serious but apparently it was for serious. It was for deadly serious. And here's this thing again. So, apparently we killed one of our own guys. Which we weren't using. But, okay, fine, whatever. Like, seriously, if it comes down to it, I may just uh, consider that to not have been a real kill. Even though the lily pup was the one that uh, actually did kill it. But, uh, yeah, I think if, like... I don't know, whatever. Um, yeah, that's, that should just count as a wounded, not a dead, but anyway. Uh, that was absolutely retarded. So, into the morgue goes Justine. Even though I, I really don't think that should count because of reasons, but whatever. It, uh, I, I guess we'll say that it does, in fact, count. So, that's... That's just stupid. I mean, obviously, I, it's my fault for not healing up after every move, but, you know, I was trying to save some money, right? Well, that's what happens when you try to save money, your Pokemon die. So, we are left with just Kathy in the box. But, uh, we are about to get two new guys. Actually, we're about to get three new guys here in the next few parts. So, you know, I guess it's okay. Um... That was real. That was probably the most senseless Nuzlocke death that's ever been done. But uh, a senseless death. People die senselessly all the time in the real world and in the Pokemon world. Guess what? Things die senselessly too. So guess what that does? I'm okay. We're, yeah, we're officially gonna cancel the Eviolite research because look what just freaking happened. We got a guy killed. So. Of course, the, the problem was the lily pup. I mean, if we could have had some way to, you know, 100% neuter the opponent's offense, then that wouldn't have happened. But, yeah, wouldn't you know it? The lily pup just happened to want to target Justine. And it just so happened that he hit through minus three accuracy stages and so much stupidity and all that that just went down. But it went down anyway. So, uh, obviously, Sally didn't mean to do it, but, you know, she did anyway, and, uh, stupid Lillipop decided it was gonna hit, and it was gonna hit the correct guy. Despite doing bite on Sally for, you know, super effective damage, it was making the correct play. You know, it had no reason to believe that Justine was gonna be hit down there, but, anyway. I'm not even gonna play any sad music for that, because that was just, frankly, asinine, the way that went down, so... Like, I, I, I want to say it's my fault, but that was just so stupid. Um, I don't know. That was just stupid. That was stupid. And the other bad thing is that if... Uh, I think there was a little bit of damage variation there, too, and it dealt, like, 13 times 2 was 26. So, I was like, okay. 
Uh, but anyway, let's drown our sorrows by first and all taking a break. So I'm gonna clip this out really quick. Okay, so yeah, the other part of the test that I was gonna do with the Eviolite was I was gonna see if it reduced damage for Justin. But, uh, you know, because that would indicate that he can evolve again. Um, but for right now, I'm just gonna assume that he can. Um, based on the way his stats are not that great, especially compared to Billy. Oh, look, here we have a... I mean, look, his attack... He's supposed to be a sweeper. Even though I know Billy is attack up nature, yes. But a, sw a fully evolved sweeper should have better stats than this monkey. I mean, especially since Billy's special attack is better. And, I mean, all of his stats are worse than Billy's, really. Um, yeah, they are. And Billy is three levels lower. So, yeah, either Croconaw or Cro Crocorock. Either Crocorock is a really crappy Pokemon or it evolves further. And I'm going to say it evolves further because this thing looks really cool. And uh, that's just what I'm going to say. So, anyway. I'm going to assume that the Eviolite will affect it. And the Dragon Skull is back, by the way. But anyway, what we're going to do right now to try to get over losing Justine, which was... Oh my gosh, that... Seriously. I, I think that's probably the first time in Pokemon history that anyone doing a Nuzlocke ever killed their own guy. Um, unintentionally. And, uh, essentially. I didn't act... I mean, we didn't actually deal the finishing blow. That was the Lily Pup's job, but, uh, we got the crit down there, which was stupid. But anyway, that's... I'm, I, A180, I know you're laughing right now. Laugh it up. Laugh it up. Cover fossil, a fossil of an ancient Pokemon that lived in the sea in ancient times. It appears to be part of its back. Okay, so we're going to evolve this thing. And hopefully it's male. I'm hoping for male, because most of the time fossils are male. Alright, so as I mentioned, uh, this is going to count for our Pokemon from Nacreen City. Because it's where it's going to be considered met at, I'm pretty sure. Unless it, you know, does a, uh, a thing. Also, you gave me turned back into a Pokemon. Turtoga. Is this a turtle? If this is a turtle, I'm gonna like. I'm gonna like scream and be happy. So. Turtoga. It definitely sounds. Sounds like a turtle. Could it be a rock type turtle? Yeah, we would. Yeah! Alright! Yes, and it's male. This is awesome. Um. Um. Okay, you know what? Uh, if it is rock type, then I would name it Adam. But we gotta make a special case. Special case. Guess who? Guess who one of the Talus Destined is? Because you know we like everyone loves author inserts, right? Everyone, this is our new guy who we are gonna use. We are going to use Naughty Nature based on the set. Solid Rock. Nice, nice Solid Rock. Here's our new guy. Our new guy is da -da -da, Cooper. This is why A180 wanted me to pick this thing. And uh, yeah, so this is like a sea turtle, right? Sea turtle, nice. Um, we have Aqua Jet, Ancient Power Crunch, Wide Guard, new move. Let's see what it does. Only only 10 PP. The user and its allies are protect well, okay. Played from wide range attacks for one turn. So I guess this is stuff. It's like a protect, but it only works against things like air cutter that target boat um it says wide ranging attacks hmm. so it's sort of like protect but different hmm. interesting interesting stuff here this is our new guy new guy cooper cooper self-named but it's it's a turtle and uh yeah it is it is water rock so it could have been adam uh yeah it could have been adam because it's rock but uh I'm sure there'll be caves. We'll have other opportunities to get Adam later. So, yes. So we have a we have a quick attack move here. Ancient power. Let's let's see this thing stats. Uh, naughty nature. Yeah, definitely favors physical defense. Um, attack attack and special attack relatively even. Um, obviously the naughty nature is playing a factor there. Level 25. So it's uh, it's right up here with the rest of our guys. So that's very, very good to have. Uh, obviously another useless guy against the electric gym, but uh, definitely going to be a good guy against fire. Um, solid rock will allow me to live some, uh, maybe a grass attack, I don't know. Um, but yeah, solid rock, nice, nice ability to have. 
And, uh, because Water Rock definitely has that crippling weakness. So, what else is it weak to? Not Steel. Um, Electric. Yeah, we are. Reduce damage from Electric attacks. That's good. As well as Fighting and Ground. So, that's, that's pretty nice. And, uh, is Rock weak to anything else? Steel is neutral. Um, due to Water type. Okay, cool. And, yeah, a couple of, a couple of good moves. I'm interested in seeing this Wide Guard. We may test this out. Yeah, we're going to test this out and see if it still works like protect and singles so yeah new guy new guy coming on we're gonna check the pokedex check the pokedex check some information on on cooper our new guy so yes a180 was correct this was the guy we wanted to pick tier toga okay proto turtle pokemon about 100 million years ago these pokemon swam in oceans it is also thought they went on land to attack prey. Area unknown. Cry. Um, can we get a check? What does this check do? Does this mean it's one of our favorites? Um, I'm not sure what this, uh, there's a check mark here. Does this mean we can, uh, oh, okay. Pokedex info. Oh, okay. So, oh, I see what this is. This is probably for, like, roamers. Um, so that you can pull up their Pokedex, like, their locations and stuff quickly. That's cool. Okay. So, yeah, Turtoga. Water Rock type Fossil Guy. Water Rock. Okay, with Solid Rock. So, once again, a guy with Solid Rock has a 4x weakness. That makes perfect sense, right? Cool. Okay, yeah, definitely glad that we picked that fossil um we didn't really need a water guy we did kind of need a rock guy so this is cool we're gonna put cooper actually what we're gonna do is go back to the place now we're gonna run through and see what this guy looks like and just get into a, like a some random battle so this is cool i'm excited now uh i'm a little bit ticked off still that we lost our sand dial justine our backup sand dial Pretty much went down for nothing. I mean, well, oh, here we go. Here's a Audino, but uh, I accidentally ran this grass first. Timber up here. We're not afraid of fighting attacks because it's me. So, you know, if this thing dies, the LP should be over because Cooper died. So, I think we should totally play by that rule. If this thing dies, the LP's over. We're going to do wide guard. Wide guard. Woo -hoo. Yeah, okay. Wide guard protected your team and used bide. So I still I can't really tell. Uh, so it looks like it can work, but uh, okay, we're, we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do wide guard again. I really shouldn't though, but it failed that time. Okay, we're gonna do this time. We're gonna do actually I should have done aqua jet. Um, let's do let's do ancient power. It will be stab. Miss energy, but it failed ancient power. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, now let's do Aqua Jet. Aqua Jet has priority. It will go before Bide. Okay, cool. Blue Sea Turtle. Liking this thing. Liking this thing. Definitely gonna have to have one. So, yeah, I was hoping there would be a new Turtle Pokemon in this generation. Um, because now that gives us, what, Blastoise? Um, Torterra? Torkoal, and now Sea Turtle, a real Sea Turtle in the form of Tirtoga. And uh, this thing probably evolves, I'm not sure. It could, most of the time the fossil Pokemon do evolve, with the exception, of course, of Aerodactyl. So, yeah, I'm looking looking forward to uh, seeing this thing's evolution, some sort of a... Uh, oh gosh, what is that thing called? The uh, Archaea... is it Archaeodon? Hang on, it's time for, it's Googling time, or uh, Yahooing time, as the case may be. Uh, I'm using Yahoo as my main search engine on Chrome now, because I don't like the way that we now have to sign into YouTube with Google and stuff. Uh, Archaeodon. Did I get that right? Archaeodon. Archaeodon, no, it's not a dinosaur. Uh, Wikipedia. May know the answer, but yeah, um, so yeah, some sort of an ancient sea turtle, and yeah, that gives us 
Uh, it's it's debatable what Shuckle is. Officially, Shuckle's a mold Pokemon, but due to the way it kind of has a shell and you know appendages, it sort of looks like a turtle, but not really. It's uh, you know, it's I used to have one named Tough Turtle, T U F F, obviously, but um, uh, in order to fit in there, but yeah. Uh, no, it's not like gosh. Ancient, ancient turtle. What is this thing called? Um, hang on, I'm gonna do this a roundabout way. Once again, wasting time in the video. We're gonna. We're, we're going. What are we gonna do? Well, there's no real reason, real way for me to show this thing on the top screen, is there? Except for that. Tiratoga. Let's see, I know that, uh, Wormmon can. From Digimon, can Digivolve into some sort of a turtle. In one of his armor forms, and it's named after this ancient sea turtle. That's what I'm trying to get at. Gosh. Oh, you know what we should do? We should put on some better music. That's what we should do. And what do I mean by better music? Of course, I mean the bike. Yeah, okay, this is the thing. Archelon, there we go. What did I say, Archaeodon? I was close. Yeah, Greek means ruler turtle. Ruler turtle, a genus of extinct sea turtles. Um, there's a picture here on Wikipedia. It's like twice as tall as a guy. Um, some guy's standing beside it, like from the back of its shell to the tip of its head. It, so it looks like it's about, what, 10 feet? Maybe 12 feet? From uh, head to tail. Awesome turtle. Very nice. Very nice. So that's what this thing is based on, an Archelon. And uh, its name is Turtoga. Um, now this thing itself is only uh, about two feet long. So uh, it's... Okay, hello everyone. Um... So, I, right now, I'm, I'm not sure what exactly just happened. Um, well, I know what just happened. My computer just BSOD'd mid-part. Um, because it's a piece of crap and, uh, Vista for the lose. But anyway, um, so at this po point, I checked my files. Um, at least part of the previous section that we just did was saved. However, I'm guessing that the file is corrupted in some way because I don't see a max time on it. It says the time of the file is zero. Um, but it will play, it just won't like fast forward effectively or some crap. So uh, I may be able to restore the file, but for the time being I'm going to proceed. This is part 14, and uh, I'm going to proceed from here. Um, obviously I could just say, okay, the file screwed up, let's just restart the part because I have not saved since I started the game, obviously, uh, since I booted the game on. So I could do that, but that's dishonest because, you know, different stuff could happen. Um, and also, is this thing going to show up? Um, yeah, in case a video file should fail, we decided in our rules a summary will be given. So that's what we're going to do. Um, so here's the summary. Um, hopefully I'm able to restore the file, and this is recap for the past 40 minutes or so. Uh, so what happened? What happened was... Um, we got a new... Okay, um, what, what we did was we took Blair the Servine, 
we were in there in the uh, in the relic castle, and oh my gosh, screen, stop flashing, stop flashing. There we go. Okay, so what we did, we we were grinded up Blair to level 31. She didn't evolve. Um, oh well. Hopefully she'll get evolved the next level in 92 experience points. And we also leveled up Justin a little bit. He was helping us out with the um, yeah masks. Is what we did. What we did, what we did, something stupid though. Let me show you what we did. Um, after that, we did some backtracking. We did some backtracking after that, which um, you know probably wasn't going to be too fun to watch anyway. But we did it anyway. We did some backtracking, and we got the following. Because in the previous part, we mentioned that Juniper said she had a present for us. For us, Juniper had a present, and the present was this, TM54, False Swipe. However, no one on the team can learn it right now. I'm assuming Kathy can't either. And, yeah, so no one could learn it. And so here we are in Necreen City. And let me tell you guys what occurred. And I, um, I can't believe you're not going to get to see this happen live. Gosh, anyway... Okay, so what we were doing... Oh my goodness, this was so stupid. Okay, you remember the Eviolite item I'm fascinated with? Well, what we decided to do was do a test about uh, about how powerful the Eviolite is, how much it decreases defense by, all that stuff. And I was also going to use it to see if it increased Crocorock's defense so that I could indicate if, whether or not he would evolve further, which right now I think he will based on stats. But anyway... I explained all that, and then the video file got destroyed by the BSOD. So, anyway, uh, what occurred was we were testing this out by doing some uh, assurance or something to our other, what's the thing's name, Sandile Justine. And uh, it was doing about 12 damage each time, so we re that was without the Eviolite. We were going to establish a base case for that. And then switch her over to Eviolite and see how much she took then, and sort of get some calculations going on to try to figure out about how much it reduced it by. Um, but what occurred? We were in the double battle grass for this, obviously, to the left or to the right of Necreen City, and we had a level 11 Lily Pup that had been mud slapped three times, so it had minus three accuracy stages. That's pretty freaking low, and we had a 30 HP. Sandile Justine and we have Sally out there Sally decides to get a critical hit and deal instead of 12 damage like 24 damage and knock me down to like 6 or 4 HP or some crap like that it was it was more than I was expecting to take by far and then guess what the lily pup decides to do for like the previous five turns it had been doing bite on Sally this specific turn it decides it's going to tackle not bite tackle on Justine who had 30 HP and was you know pretty high up there not weak to any of its moves decides to tackle Justine decides to hit Justine and kill Justine so I lose a lost a guy for the sake of science are you freaking kidding me is that's what I yelled are you freaking kidding me but uh yeah, that's really a that's I'm sorry, that's just absolutely asinine that we lost the guy that way. And like if it comes down to it, I may like revive Justine with extreme executive power and continue to LP if that is necessary because that was absolutely stupid. Um absolutely stupid and uh yeah, something that could have been solved by about 5 minutes on Cerebi of uh, checking to see if Croca Rock evolves and how much the Eviolite increases defenses by. But, you know, we wanted to try to do it on our own and, you know, figure some stuff out on our own and really actually test it in-game. So that's what I was trying to do. And guess what my reward for seeking knowledge was, guys? I got a guy killed. It was actually the Lily Pup that did the killing, but Sally set it up, so, you know, stupid. Anyway, we proceeded to go here after I took some breaks to moan and complain and get some more water and whatnot. And uh, we went here in the cover fossil that we got in the previous the previous part, which was recommended that we, at some point A180 recommended that I pick a top option. And uh, remember I did some uh, figuring out last part that the plumed fossil 
was probably some sort of Archaeopteryx or otherwise a flying type. And we already have several flying types. We have Kathy and Sally. So I didn't need another flying type. And so I didn't know what it was, but I picked the cover fossil. And I was very pleasantly surprised at what we got. And what we got was a Turtoga. And because it's a turtle, um, that beats out what typing. Uh, ordinarily, Cooper would be an ice type. But since it's a turtle, Koopa Troopa, we're going to name this thing Cooper. And this is going to be our new hero guy or something. Uh, if this thing dies, I think the LP should be over. But uh, it probably won't be. But, you know, anyway. This is probably going to be our most cherished guy because it's kind of me in the game. So the character's name is Talix, obviously not Cooper. Because guess what? Cooper is a Talus Destin just like Justin and and uh, and Blair. Because we like self-insertion into, into materials and stuff. Anyway. So yeah, nice, pretty nice moves. This wide guard uh, is actually what I was trying to check out when the computer BSOD. So um, hopefully this has all just been a big rant, or not rant, but a, a big recap of what's gone on previously in the video. But uh, I really think that this is probably just a few minutes into the video. So you know, I mean, obviously I could have restarted the video, or I could have just reset the game. And started filming part 14 anew, but you know that would have wiped out about an hour's worth of grinding and backtracking and stuff. And on top of that, it would have been dishonest because then we would have had Justine revived. So yeah, that wouldn't have been uh, would not have been honest. I mean, you guys have no way of knowing whether or not I'm playing off screen anyway and doing that anyway. But uh, yeah, just let this be a notion that I am not um, that we did lose Justine. In a, the most stupid way possible. I think that's probably the first time that anyone doing a Nuzlocke has ever unintentionally killed their own guy in a double battle. So, completely stupid. Obviously, that's the only time I will ever do that because in the future, I'm going to know exactly what Eviolite does. But this being a blind Nuzlocke, we don't. So, I try to procure a little bit of knowledge. I get a guy killed. At least I switched... I, I did switch it over to Justine. Originally, I was doing it with with Aaron, was who we were testing it on, but Aaron had two good defenses, so we opted to not do it on Aaron. So that's good that we lost Justine instead of Aaron, but obviously it's absolutely stupid that we lost anyone doing that crap. So anyway, new guy, Cooper, and I'm pretty pleased with that. We will be using him, definitely. Um, probably in place of Billy in the future, I think. Because we need, uh, we need him leveled up to take explosions and stuff, maybe. Like, a, like a, I feel like we should give, assign some sort of special status to Cooper, like, like, either, like, he can't die, like, he's immortal, or if he dies, the LP's over, you know, so, so, so some sort of special thing like that. And, uh, maybe I'll do that for, like, a future for fun LP, but, uh, in this case, we're gonna... You know, we're going to play it straight. So, Justine. I mean, that's our fourth guy lost. I'm not going to play any sad music or, uh, you know, anything like that. I will add her to the to the death list that I'm, you know, keeping track of for the for the credits, for the finale of this LP, whenever it's going to be. But, uh, that was just absolutely the most stupid, senseless death that I've ever seen in a Nuzlocke. And, uh, you know, I mean, people die senselessly every day in the real world, so, you know, uh, real world mimicking Pokemon in this case. But, uh, let's see who we want to put in the PC, because I need someone in here to keep, uh, Kathy company. And, yeah, after that crap went down, um, I'm not really in the mood to take on the gym leader right now, especially with the stupid stuff that happened with Justine, and then probably the the uh, bulk of this video got corrupted which means I need to make this part even longer so if the previous part wasn't corrupted this is gonna be like a two to three hour video or something ridiculous like that we just had part 12 be two hours long like two hours and four minutes or some ridiculous stuff like that um, let's see but we know that Justin and Blair are our main two guys and uh, let's see actually we could probably grind up Cooper I don't know 
Uh, we are starting to get into the money now, so we may start some auto grinding on the next route. Who is going to stay in the box? Um, let's see, we're going to put... We're going to put Sally. I don't want to put both of my guys who can take out grass types in the box. Um, okay, let's, let's put Aaron in the box, because she's kind of under-leveled anyway. Alright, so we got Kathy and Aaron in the box. Um... I'm thinking about, honestly, for the gym, only taking Justin and Blair is what I'm thinking about. But, um, because the rest of my guys aren't going to be that useful unless I get Aaron evolved, which, I don't know. I'm not really in the mood to fight the gym leader right now because I'm bummed about the whole stupid Justine thing and the lost the file thing. So, at least I had a contingency plan for that. I mean, I actually set out the rule for that occurring so anyway I think what we're gonna do then um so yeah lots of stuff happened and it happened in this part without actually happening I guess and uh, yeah we decided that we we're gonna start doing the bicycle on Y as well really nice feature that they added there but uh I'm in a bad mood now because I think it's more about the file than the Justine thing really but whatever I know most webcams would have 100% lost the file, but there may be some way I can recover this in some way, so I'm kind of more interested in doing that than continuing this part, but uh, I'm going to continue this part anyway. At least fight some trainers, um, yeah. I mean, see, there's one of the mentalities in a Nuzlocke challenge is when you lose someone or something bad happens, you start to make bad decisions. And I don't want to fight a gym leader while I'm in a bad mood and I'm going to make some bad decisions. So, yeah, we're going to postpone the Elisa fight, which frankly I was thinking about postponing anyway from this part. We're going to save that for the next part. Possibly go catch some new guys now that we've got False Swipe too, although no one can learn it. So it's kind of a moot point. Uh, we're going to go in some of these places. Or actually, first what we're going to do. First, what we're going to do is go into the basketball court, which is this place right here, and fight some more of these basketball players, if this is possible anyway. Oh, okay, we got tennis today. Uh, okay, so this is, uh, it looks like it changes every day then, or possibly with time of day. Okay, cool. So we got some uh, girls playing tennis. Nice. Okay, we got uh, Justin, Billy, Blair, Sally. So I feel pretty decent. Okay, let's... An elegant Smasher has an elegant battle. Are they going to be called Smashers? Tennis players? Tennis players. Huh. <laughs> Blonde hair, blue eyes, right? Okay, she's got a Blitzel, which is perfect. That's exactly what we need to practice against. I'm so afraid of the evolved form of Blitzel having a really powerful, what is that, fl flame charge? Yeah, that seems like a pretty nice move. I don't know how powerful it is, but increasing speed one level, really freaking nice. Or, you know, doing that while dealing damage, pretty nice. And having a fire move. Anyway, tennis players, lots of money, wow. Are these guys on the pro circuit, or what? This is all about rackets and balls. There's nothing profound about it. Okay. Pokemon Tennis is wonderful. Players are never alone. The Pokemon are always with them. I'm a ball... Oh, it's a ball boy. Cool. Look on ball boys. We're going to practice. Okay, so it looks like only the one... Only the one tennis player wants to battle us today. Okay, cool. I am, uh, I am sort of fond of the tennis. I like the tennis. Um, you know, Federer, Nadal, all that stuff. Djokovic. All those guys. Anyway, that's due mainly in part to my, uh, my friend. He's, uh, more into it than I am, I guess. Let's go in here and see if the things are different. Oh, we can, uh, go down here now. I'm an infielder. Oh yeah, we have not signed the trainer card. I ha I'm not allowed to look at the trainer card. When I throw a Pokeball, I copy the form of the picture. But yeah, we can't look at the trainer card because of the stuff. 
has uh, people's pictures in it and stuff. Okay, yeah, we, I think we saw all this stuff. Maybe even earlier this part and it got destroyed, but anyway. God, I'm so upset about that. Anyway, a yeah, big stadium. So yeah, we have a, uh, yeah, this is much bigger. Well, there's the foul, the foul pole, which should be called the fair pole. Since if stuff hits it, it's, uh, it's fair. I'm gonna bring it around as my bat. I got my trusty Louisville Slugger. Okay. Let's see if we can find anyone who wants to battle. It's not bad to grow up, but it's bad to forget what it felt like to be a kid. That kind of sounds like us with the grind sessions. Okay, well, this guy battle us. Yes. Okay, so it looks like the people who are out in the field, like, actually playing don't battle you, but the ones who are standing off at the side will. Infielder Alex! Alex! <laughs> Alex! We have to destroy Alex. Must destroy- uh, Justin! We must destroy Alex. Let's go destroy Alex right now. Intimidate! Intimidate Alex! Alright, now we're getting- whoops, I picked the wrong attack! Crunch! Crunch! But, uh, Justin has black glasses, so it killed anyway. Pan four. Yeah, we have disadvantages here, so we're gonna switch out to Blair. And then for Pan Sage, yeah, that's why I wanted to keep someone who could deal with grass types, so. I mean, Blair can deal with grass types, but, yeah. Scald, better not do a burn. Yeah, too bad if we get. Yeah, of course, it does burn. Um, I do have a burn heal, which I think I'm going to use. I think actually one of the. No, that was a raw spare that we got from those Pokemon Rangers, but I did buy some burn heals. And now we, here we go. And now we can use Mega Drain. And I probably shouldn't use Growth, and I'll just leave Blair in against the Pan Sage. But we'll see if she levels up from this. Yeah, she levels up from this. Maybe she'll get an evolution out of this, and that'll make me feel happy. Wow, lots of attack gain. Leaf Blade! Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, okay, Leaf Blade, Leaf Blade. Uh, Sceptile's old move, right? Yep, same, same stuff. Yep, same PP accuracy, good, very good. Very good. Um, I really like Mega Drain, though. I, I, I like Mega Drain for the purpose of the Nuzlocke Challenge. Um, okay, let's, let's see, it's time for math. Everyone ready for math? Leaf Blade is a stab move. It has 135 power. Even if it's resisted, it's still stronger than Tackle. So, we're gonna forget Tackle and learn Leaf Blade. Forget Tackle, learn Leaf Blade. And that'll also be something we can use against Ghosts. So, Pan Sage is the last food. Um, so, yeah, Leaf Blade. And hopefully, Blair will get an evolution out of this. So, we're gonna go to Sally. Because I can't go to... I don't want to keep Blair in. I could, but, you know, whatever. Let's see what this thing goes for. It goes for Bite, which is absolutely perfect. Um, I kind of forgot that it learns Bite. Okay. Um, that dealt... That dealt 22. Okay, yeah, we, we can take we can take this. We'll probably kill it in one shot anyway. Okay, cool. Yeah, it'd be nice to see what those things, other moves are. The, uh... Equivalents of Scald and holy crap. Yeah, these things have a lot. These guys have a lot of money I guess that's because athletes are stereotyped as having a lot of money. I Mean you know, I, I guess when they're getting paid multi-millions 40 million a year, you know Like Alex Rodriguez or whatever however much he makes, you know, I guess that's an easy stereotype to buy into But anyway so This is why I like I have this issue with professional sports just because I don't know, I enjoy doing things just for the uh, for the fun of it, which is why the you know the whole um, you know oh, oh Cooper you're so pro like I'm I'm trying to bring back or introduce the whole uh, introduce amateur being like better than pro and no no chair and fight okay thank you I won then I lost who is this your station has trains where you can battle the trainers the battle subway don't you accept this a word. We got versus recorder. Yep. Okay. 
Your friends are on the battle some way. Okay. But like, yeah, I'm trying. I'm, I'm gonna try to introduce amateur. Like Cooper, you're so amateur, or Emma instead of pro. Instead of professional, it's amateur. Like Cooper, you're so Emma. You just love. You just do stuff because you love it. That's how cool you are. Here station. We don't want to go in here. I don't know like what the crap. This stuff is. If it's is this like a Battle Frontier in game or something? This is weird stuff. Weird stuff. This is Battle Institute. Let's see what this is. Battle Inst Institute. Here's this girl again. I want to miss her. Show you the ropes. Battle. Th okay. This is gonna be difficult. We don't want it. Do not want. <sighs> like if we don't get experience from this, then like it shouldn't count for Nuzlocke, right? I'm like so afraid that this stuff is. I don't know. What's in here? Yeah, I think I'm just not gonna do all that stuff. Yeah, we're just gonna explore the city a little bit. Oh, okay, yeah, we already uh, we already explored this. Um, wait a minute. The Blair didn't evolve. <laughs> Blair didn't evolve. Well, I wanted Blair to evolve. Um, how much does she have to next level? Holy crap! Yeah, Blair has a crap load to next level. Um, you know what we're gonna do? Because we just went ahead and got... What's his name? Cooper! We got Cooper in this part. Um, and due to the all the other crap that happened, I need a pick. I need I need to be made happy. I need I need the happy. We, we lost the happy. We need to get the happy back. Um, first thing we're gonna do, though... We're gonna pull out... We're gonna pull out our two new guys. Pull, or not new guys, but, uh... I'm gonna pull out Kathy and Cooper. Just check and see if either of them can learn false swipe. Oh, here's the versus recorder. Let's check out the versus recorder. Hate this thing. Okay, looks very familiar. Very familiar. I, I, I've, I've been over why I hate the versus recorder. It's just because it allows people to post battle videos, screen recorded with ROMs. And all that crap. Random matchup. What does this do? Rating mode. Single, double, triple rotation launcher. Oh, launcher. This is the uh, the item battle, right? Um, yeah. I'm I'm interested in doing some of these. It seems like it might be pretty fun. Just total total lulls. Um, yeah. Rotation. Hmm. Yeah. Various stuff here. Obviously, stuff to navigate with the thing, which is annoying. The uh, stylus. Single train, double train, multi train, Wi Fi train, so yeah, trains. BP! Okay, so, uh, yeah, this seems like to be some, somewhat of the battle frontier. This early in the game, very strange. My video, there's nothing saved. Other videos. Delete videos. Okay. So, yeah, looks like pretty much the same sort of basic interface for uh, down here. You guys couldn't see really much of any of that. But, uh, yeah, I don't like the Versus Recorder. Um, I think A180 was theorizing that you can't even, like, upload. Or no, that doesn't make any sense, because they still have others. Never mind. Um, but anyway, oh yeah, or at a special battle facility. Well, a special battle facility just means the battle subway. But, uh, yeah, Versus Recorder, I have my own, you know, beef with that. Um, uh, I know Xerxes has, shares some of those issues with the Versus Recorder, but, you know, whatever. Uh, anyway, oh, we need to actually do what I was going to say, what I said we were going to do, which is look for false swipe compatibility. False swipe. Can anyone learn false swipe? Anyone learn false swipe? No, no one can learn false swipe. Not even Blair. I was hoping since Blair is, you know, kind of robile, Trico-ish, that she could learn it, but she can't. So, I guess, fine, whatever. Because I think they learn it by level up. Do, uh... The uh, Grovile and Sceptile do. I'm not sure if Trico does. So let's put Kathy back in the box. And then we have these three. Um, let's see, who is actually... Uh, we're actually going to take Cooper with us. Actually, we're going to take him with us. I think. And can we look at Aaron's status in some way? 
There's some way to look at her status summary. No, not move. Summary. So she has 45 attack power. And Cooper has... Cooper has 48 attack power. Um, But he has an option to use the special attack. So, okay, fine, whatever. Uh, we're going to figure out something to do for... Uh, yeah, what we're going to go ahead and do... Because I need to be made happier after the whole Justine thing. And I swear, if this thing does BSOD again, like, I'm just going to restart the part because I'll be so upset. And I'll need to drown my sorrows with grinding again. So, okay, let's go in here. Let's go in here. We have another thing. March 13th. Performers. Gathering on Route 5. I wonder who writes these in the bulletin board. Okay, new, new route, right? Right, by Performer Street. Alright, so there's... Who's this? Bake. Okay, it's a, it's a baker. It's a baker. Let's see if we can get some poppins or something from this. Baker Gin. Baker Gin has a pan seer. And we have Justin. So we're gonna use Justin on this thing. Here, uh, Justin's Intimidate. Yeah, we definitely out-level them. So we're gonna dig. Underground. Let's see what this thing has. It still has incinerate. Oh, yeah, it turns out that that only burns up berries, so that's good. You know, I think it's also like only it's pretty weak power. Pan poor. Seriously, these things is a trio. Kind of annoying. And yeah, like I, I want to get Blair up one more level to try to get her to evolve because I, I feel like she should evolve. Like before level 36, seriously, because she didn't evolve until level 17. So, cut me a little bit of a break here. There's not This one appears to not have Scald. We're going to use Growth. Because I'm probably going to stand if it's a Pan Sage next. Yeah, that's some stupid crap. Stupid Water Sport. Um, we took a little bit of damage, so let's do Mega Drain to get back to full life. Okay, cool. And Pan Sage, yep. We just fought, like, another person with all three of these things. I do kind of like them, though. Yeah, I got some, uh... Quack them with the Master Sword, as ZMT would say. Baker Jin was defeated. And yeah, we're going to be doing some Autono grinding in the future. Okay, see, so this is not a free heal place. Go in here, let's see if we can, uh... Oh, maid. My Master has a big heart to match his big belly. He's a gourmet. Oh, it's the, uh, it's the, uh, the ball mushroom, I guess, right? Um, but I don't know. Yeah, this is, we may be able to sell this for, like, a crap load of money, but in case we black out, usually you have to pay money. So I'm going to keep this ball mushroom in reserve so that we can have a stockpile of money. Let's maybe, yeah, there's a ton of trainers. Holy crap, there's a ton of trainers on the street. Okay, so yeah, this is going to be some spots for experience. However, first, this looks like, well, this looks like a backpacker. Okay, first, new, new Pokemon, right? Okay, we got to figure out what we're going to use. Um, we do have Mud Slap with Justin. It's going to be a really weak move. So uh, we're probably going to use that. Um, yeah, we could use that. We could use Blair's Leech Seed to get him down further. But yeah, if they, if they can't take a mud slap from Justin, then they're not worth being on the team, I guess. So, okay, let's catch some new guys. Here we go. Here we go. Our Route 5 guy, right? This is what route we're on. We're on Route 5. Route 5. Um, I think we have a full party, too. Or do we? No, we don't. We only have five guys. Okay. So we're going to see who we get here. Route 5. Route 5, our new friend. New Pokemon is going to be... It's gonna be one of the trash things. Okay, cool. Poison type, and guess what gender it is? It's a female, of course. So some, uh... I can make a lot of jokes there about trashy girls, but anyway. Um, I guess that means that Mud Slap would deal massive damage to it. Um... Let's see who we can go to. 
Um. Hmm, it's poison. Poison will resist Rock Smash from Billy. So let's go. Let's do that. Poison is gonna resist Rock Smash from Billy. Unless this thing's like Poison Dark. But I don't know what type this thing is. So, Acid Spray. New move. New move. Never seen it before. Looks like it lowers defense. Special defense. That's what it lowers. Kind of like Acid, maybe. Um, the actual move, Acid. Rock Smash. That's what we're going to use, because Poison resists fighting. And yeah, that didn't do too much at all. So we're going to do that. Double Slap. See how many hits this thing takes. And yeah, it looks like we can probably use another one of those Rock Smashes. Even if we get a crit, it shouldn't kill it. Rock Smash. Yeah, okay, now, however, um, that's slow enough that we're going to go ahead and go for a ball. And we'll have to figure out what kind of ball we want. Um, I think we're going to go with a Dusk Ball. It would look aesthetically pleasing with this thing. And uh, once again, i got to figure out what we're going to call this thing. Because, seriously, I'm, I, I, like, I think I may have one female name left. And that's like it. Um, I'm actually going to throw the Net Ball at it. Just for kicks and giggles, because it's funny, because it's like trash in a net. Oh, and it says no deal. No deal. Acid spray. It needs to lower special defense. And, uh, I think, no, special defense fall falls again. We're gonna go out to someone who resists poison. I'm so afraid of this thing, like, doing some sort of stupid grass attack, but, uh, someone who resists poison. And it's gonna be Justin. I guess I could set up Leech Seed on the thing, but I'm like not entirely confident that I can catch it before it dies. So we're gonna intimidate it. I don't want to go to Blair because of that move right there, Sludge. Watch it poison too. Okay, no poison. Um, I guess then we'll go for the uh, uh, Dusk Ball, regardless, because this thing's not being too easy to catch. Dusk Ball, one of the best balls at catching. Okay, so Trubbish. Trubbish was caught. Let's see if this thing has a secondary type that would help me. Nope, it's pure poison. A combination of garbage bags and industrial waste waste created this chemical reaction. It's Pokemon. Okay, trash bag. Trash bag Pokemon. Trubbish. Trubbish. What do we need to call you, Trubbish? Um. Oh, good grief. I'm gonna go into the bin. The bin. The bin is like I think the bin has one name left. Um, or wait, hang on. Okay, we're actually going to reach into the um, not something that's not in the bin. This is one of the evil Talus destined from season four, the antithesis of Blair. All the other evil Talus destined are of the same type. But not this one. The, the evil version of nature is a poison type. So that's what we're going to do. This is, is female. Everyone, this is naive nature. Let's check the ability. Sticky hold. Okay, that's uh, not very helpful whatsoever. In game. And we have, uh, this is Tasha. That's the DS lid falling because this DS sucks. Um, toxic spikes, acid spray. Poison moves. Yes. Double slap sludge. Okay, let's see. So this acid spray. Um. Yeah, that looks exactly like acid. From. Is this like acid, but it's renamed? Oh no! Partially reduces the target special defense stat. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, I know acid has a similar effect. Hmm. And this also keeps with the tradition that every poison type move that has acid in its name is like the those are like the only poison type moves that do not poison. Uh, that's acid armor, the actual move acid, and gastro acid. I think are the only poison type moves that do not inflict poison. So if they have acid in their names, they do not inflict poison. So and a naive nature. Let's see how good that was. Is that a decent nature? Um. This thing appears to be relatively fast. At least, well, not really. Um, I don't know. I don't 
I don't plan on using this thing. Um, obviously, you know, we might have to, because it's a Nuzlocke, and you gotta use what you gotta use. But, uh, it's gonna go into the box, and it's gonna stay in the box, because I'm not interested in using that thing right now. Um, I don't know how useful it, it is, if it's got good stats later on, if it evolves, what this thing is. But we're not gonna use it, because it doesn't really fit with my nickname scheme, so... A little bit disappointed there, but then again, um, you know, I don't know what else we could have caught there. I guess we'll find out in the future. And we're gonna put, we're gonna put Tasha. Tasha is gonna go, she's gonna go right here. She's gonna stay in the box until, until we have less than six guys, honestly. Until we have to use her, we will not use her. Because I'm, right now I'm not interested in using her. Unlike my other guys, who I am kind of interested in using, so... Into the box goes Tasha. And that's good. That's good to have one guy that we can just, like, definitely keep in the box. And, uh, just do that. So, now we're gonna make sure also that Cooper... Cooper was been in Necreen City, right? Yeah, Necreen City. Yeah, Cooper is our guy for Necreen City. So. Okay, we're gonna go... Yeah, we're not gonna go to the gym this, this video. And defeat Elisa. We're not gonna do that yet. We're gonna go through this route. And we're going to catch another Pokemon here. Here's a, here's another infielder. Oh, okay. Oh, Macho Brace is right here. Very nice. We will be putting this on for grind sessions to obtain some EVs, probably. So that's very nice. A camper's been parked and lost one far. It's 16. Okay. So Macho Brace will help us when we grind. We will get some more EVs. And that'll be good. In-game EVs. Pretty nice. Um, this guy looks like a cop. Okay. Um, we're going to have. Yeah, we're still we're still focused on using Blair and Justin. So we haven't really sent sent Cooper into a battle yet. Uh, and on that note, we're gonna take this Iviolite, which we sacrificed the guy to fail to figure out what it does exactly. <sighs> We're going to put Cooper with the Eviolite. I am patrolling. I will check your strength, too. This guy may only fight us at night, but, uh, it's 10 p.m. right now, so... Policeman Daniel, and he's got a Herdier. That makes perfect, absolute sense. So, out goes Justin. Probably going to trade Intimidates. Yep, trade Intimidates, which is just absolutely fantastic. Um... Because this thing loves to spam on me, I'm gonna torment it first. Because I hate, I hate the, when these things spam double edge or uh, take down. It's so annoying, so annoying. Seriously, like, okay, holy freaking crap. See, now we get a turn to heal if we want it. And uh, okay, now, okay, what we're gonna do? Now what we're gonna do is. Now I'm going to heal. That's not too much damage that we took, but I'm going to heal up. Because now I don't think he's able to select. Oh, that's fantastic. So, uh, now he is able to use work up. Great. That's just great that he can use work up. Uh, but we're going to dig this turn. Dig is a very nice combo with torment. Because now we can, uh, make him use his torment stuff on the wrong turn, and the AI is not smart enough to figure that stuff out. Because the AI is stupid. So, and he's gonna die anyway, so... We're gonna dig. And he's going to do... If he was smart, he... Well, he couldn't do work up in that case, but yeah, so, uh... Torment, very good move. Combined with dig to dodge their moves and force them to use it when they can't hit with it, so... Pretty nice combo in-game right there. I like that combo a lot, and holy crap, this person's going really fast! That's because they're on a bike. Okay, Tingling Ling, I'll have a Pokemon battle at this speed. Cyclist Krissa has a Ducklet. We know this is the water-flying type. We don't know that, but it's a pretty safe bet that it is, and therefore it's a very bad matchup for Justin to be doing. And we can't ah, and we can't even really use Blair against it. Um, let's see. We could use Cooper. 
Cooper would resist some of that stuff, and uh, he has a super effective ancient power. So let's go to Cooper, who does outlevel. Go, Cooper! Go me, Aerial Ace. Resisted, yeah, not very much damage there. And we're going to use ancient power. I kind of want to use wide guard, but I don't want to uh, get... Okay, that dealt... Uh, not, not, that wasn't too bad, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, that ancient power did a lot. Um... We're going to use Aqua Jet to finish this thing off, because I was slower. Aqua Jet, boom. Good, doesn't have uh, Water Absorb, critical hit. Lipar, okay. Here's this thing, we know what to do about this thing, it's a dark type. Um, we're going to go to Justin. Ordinarily, I, I would like to go to, um, to Aaron, but Aaron's not with us, she's in the PC. Plus, this way we get an Intimidate fake out anyway, so that wasn't going to deal too much to Cooper regardless. Uh, we're going to go for a dig. Dig is what we will use. Pursuit, kind of a stupid move. So yeah, this kind of continues the tradition of the cats having fake out and stuff. But uh, yeah, I, I guess it's pronounced lie pard. Like a lie, you know? So Justin getting lots of HP gain there. And I really want Blair to level up really want her to level up so want her to get up to level 33 yeah we're gonna fight what we're gonna do in the rest of this video I guess is fight some trainers to get Blair to level 33 and try to evolve her because we want I would like to maybe get I mean based on the way that Justin learned crunch and then next level he evolved I don't know why I went down here um, I'm hoping that you know we got leaf blade Excellent move on Blair due to her naughty nature, or her lonely nature rather. Wrong defense stat there. Um, and naughty nature has been one of the more common natures. We've had several people be naughty. I think actually about a about a third or a quarter of our guys have been naughty nature. So we're going to go back out now and fight some trainers. And at least lead with Blair, if not use her, actually. Oh, we can just double press Y. That's nice. We don't have to switch over to push A. Best bike music ever, too. Really like this bike music. I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with the music in this game so far. Just overall. So, Route 16. And, uh... Get up the bike. So, we have Blair at the top, right? Yes, so Blair's at the top. for a place. This is not in any guidebook. And we have Backpacker Peter. He's got a Scraggy. Um, we're not... I'm not too threatened by that. Not too threatened. I am almost 10 levels higher. We're gonna do a Leaf Blade. Love, I love Leaf Blade. It's such an awesome move. Because it's... It's leaves and it's swords. I like swords. Swords are cool. Even better when they're dual wielded. Dual wielding is really cool. Boulder here. Oh, okay. So these are strength boulders are like freaking huge now. So cool. Um, I, did we not get strength? I think we did get strength, or did we? I thought we got strength at some point. Um, yeah, we got strength. Um, I don't know. I haven't been told by any of the gym leaders that uh, we need brat badges to use the HMs anymore. So uh, I don't know how that's working out or what, but anyway. We're going to fight this guy. And uh, yeah, we can go ahead and catch a Pokemon here too. See if we can get something better than Tasha. Stephen has a mole, dude. Drillbur. Drillbur. Let's see who this guy has. Uh, likely a ground type. We're gonna go for a leaf blade. I'm nine levels higher anyway, so I'm not too badly threatened. Drillbur got one shotted by Blair. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, that was super effective, right? So let's check out that thing. I want to check out where we can catch one of those things. I mean, we already have a good ground type in in the form of Justin, but uh, there's still a lot more game to be played. Let's see where else Trubbish can be found. Trubbish can be found. Okay, we could potentially get another Trubbish here, which I... Gosh, I hope we don't get another Trubbish. Like, anyway. Um, I think... 
This, uh, the, the magic guard thing can also be found here. It'd be nice if we got one of those. Um, ducklet. The duck thing. Uh, it's gonna be found a little bit further over. Past Route 5, more on the bridge. And that looks like the only place it appears. So, what about... Oh, here's this, um, here's this thing. Emolga. The, uh, it's essentially a flying Pachirisu. Holy crap, it's everywhere. Um... Okay, so we're not going to be worried about getting one of these. But this could be our, our electric type, potentially. And uh, this little gothic Lolita thing. <sighs> Voice cracks. Gosh. The, the little gothic Lolita thing. Um, I'm getting area unknown on it. And uh, because I'm getting area unknown on it, I'm going to bet that Yamask is a white exclusive the uh this guy right here i'm gonna bet that he is a white exclusive in the uh the gothic lolita thing that it is the black eh, the black equivalent boy stop cracking holy crap uh i think i already mentioned at some point about the cotton thing and petalil about how uh, i think they are they are similarly exclusives so um what was, what was i checking Oh, okay, uh, this Drillbur guy. Let's check out him. Check out where he can be found. And, uh, it looks like he's being found in, uh... He can be... Okay, we, we could have gotten him in Wallscreen Cave. That may be a, uh, Charged Stone Cave. Okay, like, pretty much any cave or mountain this thing appears in, so that makes perfect sense. Um, I think we are out of chances to get a Rog and Rolla. Not Blitzel. Blitzel, yeah, we, we can't get Blitzel anymore, or Rug and Roll, I'm pretty sure, so. Okay, so, so, yeah. Well, let's see if we can get a Lipard anywhere else. Um, yes, we could potentially get a Lipard right here. Um, apparently they appear in the Dream Yard too, but I'm willing to bet that that's a later part of the Dream Yard somehow. Okay, well, anyway, uh, we're right here at some more grass. So let's see what we can get this time. Um, I may seed this thing up, and then I'll go from there. We no longer have a dust ball, so yeah, we'll just see what we can get here. See what we can get. Anything but another trubbish. And it's another trubbish. God, it sucks. And it's another female one too. So uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't really care about this thing. Um, frankly, whatever. Maybe it has a different ability. I don't know. Um, we're gonna do a Mega Drain. I'm gonna... No, actually, we're gonna switch out of here, because it's... And my phone's ringing, so... Hang on. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, anyway. Yeah, okay, so... What are we doing? We're... Yeah, this is our... This is our guy we can catch in this route. And, oh my gosh, we've... This part, part 14, I'm going to go ahead and say this part is worse than part 5 because we lost the guy senselessly, the file BSOD'd, and now we've, we've wasted two guys, essentially, because I'm not going to use this piece of rubbish um, unless I have to, but you know. Anyway, uh, I don't really have much interest in even catching this thing, but I will anyway for a meat shield. Um, I'm gonna go to Justin, and, uh, if this thing can live a mud slap, I'll catch it. If it doesn't, I don't care. So, Intimidate. Toxic, yeah, that's another reason I can't be switching around too much. Toxic spikes, which could, could actually be pretty useful. Um, we're gonna mud slap. Mud slap. Mud slap. Super effective. Cool. Yeah, a critical hit would have killed. So, acid spray. And we know now that this does lower special defense two levels. Right? It says uh, special defense partially fell. So, uh, pretty nice. Actually, a pretty decent, uh, pretty decent thing. Not blocked by taunt, also. So, um, potentially a useful skill there. Um, this thing was being pretty ornery before. So we're gonna th we're gonna throw a great ball and then an ultra ball that takes that. So, and uh, I don't know what I'm gonna name this thing. 
Um, well, I know what I'm gonna name this thing. I know what I'm gonna name this thing. We're gonna name this one. This one's going to be named. I just know we're gonna like encounter the awesome uh Dang, you know what I should have done? God, I'm such a stupid idiot. I should have repelled and like at least caught like an autono or something cool. Um this thing has yeah, sticky hole. It's even the same nature! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Ugh. This part guys, like I was like, I was sad after part five. This part, I'm just, like, I'm just angry at this part. Everything to do with this part. This video, this video is filled with my rage. Filled with Cooper rage. Let that be known. This video is filled with Cooper rage. So those things are meat shields. Those things are meat shields. That's all they are. I should just, like, carry one with me as a meat shield. That's like all I need to use them for is meat shields, because they're trash bags. They're like, what is this? Anyway. Like, I'm gonna compare these two things right now. Are they not like both the same nature? This is ridiculous. Look at this. Well, one's lower level, but like, it's the same bloody dude. It's the same nature, same ability, same gender. I mean, I, I can't really tell the stats, because they're different level. But, uh,. Holy freaking crap. Grief. Does this thing even evolve? I mean, some of those attacks are decent, like T-Spikes and that Acid Spray, potentially useful, but, um, I don't know, not interested in using this guy. And I wasted a couple of guys that I could have gotten instead of him. I mean, and I, honestly, what I should have used repels right there. I'm stupid. I should have done that and, you know, tried to tweak it in some way. But, uh, you know, at least get an Autono out of it. But, uh, not that I think Autono is that useful. But, it would have been something. So, anyway. I'm in a bad mood right now. Really bad mood. Um, yeah, really bad mood. Anyway. Anyway, we're going to, uh, before we end the video, we're going to do one more thing to attempt, attempt to make this video a good video. I mean, we did get Cooper in this video. That's one thing. You guys can't see Cooper because everything's on the freaking bottom screen. We did get Cooper in this video. We got Cooper. So that's a, that's a good thing that we got Cooper. But yeah, we missed out on getting on getting this little soul assist thing. I think those are the only two places we can get that thing. And yeah, that thing is seriously like, freaking sweet. It's got magic guard. That's amazing. Um, apparently learns hidden power. Would have been nice, you know? But oh well. We don't get it, so yeah. I'm definitely looking forward to this game not being not being doing a, a non Nuzlocke playthrough of this, so I can actually catch stuff that isn't garbage. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm sort of raging against the Trubbish. It, it's not really just the Trubbish. It's just everything. And if if I, if, it, if that had not been a second Trubbish, or if it had been a different ability, or even just a different nature, you know, that would have been okay. But it's not okay, so it's not okay. I'm not gonna sit here and lie and say it's okay, because it's not okay. It's not okay. Not okay. Back to back Pokemon of the same type, same gender, same ability, same nature, same everything. Not okay. Not okay. Not okay. Not okay. Especially not after the, all the other crap we went through this video. Anyway, this video filled with rage, filled with anger. We're gonna take that anger. Blair, take my anger and use it to increase your power now. And then we will destroy Elisa in the next part. Harlequin Paul sends out a Whirlipede. I can't handle that thing. I can't handle that thing with either of my two guys that I want it, so that I want to uh, use against the gym because Justin is weak to bug. So, we'll go to, um, we're going to Cooper. Let's go Cooper. Go out to myself. Cooper comes out. Iron defense. Well, that's fine, because we can use... 
Okay, it puts up a little reflect-like thingy, huh? A little sharply. We don't care. We're going to use ancient power. Iron defense. Again, we're going to attack on the special side. Iron? No, not iron defense. Ancient power! Boom. And uh, we're going to go for an aqua jet, try to finish this thing off. Before it gets an attack in. Poison point activates, however, and Cooper's poisoned. Gonna get that poison off there. See what else this guy has. I think he's got another guy. He's got another Whirlipede, is what he's got. So, um, we're going to restore that status. So, first thing we're gonna do. If I have a, if I have an antidote. Here we go, antidote. Yeah, I'm looking forward to using Cooper. Looking forward to using Cooper, definitely. You know, I always like to use turtle Pokemon, so... And uh, I gotta say, I'm also... You know, even besides just Cooper, we've got three reptilian Pokemon in the party right now. Resist that. Critical hit. So, we've got a turtle, a snake, and a crocodile. So, I'm, I'm liking the, the uh, reptilian Pokemon in this generation, because as you guys know... Um, within the animal kingdom, reptiles are my favorite. Reptiles are my favorite. Turtles are better than humans. Down with the humans, up with the turtles. We're gonna go back and heal. Because I feel like it, and because we have a bicycle that has awesome music. And is really fast. Really fast. I think it's faster than the mock bike, actually. Without the annoying speed up required, so... Okay, we're going to heal up. Also because Ancient Power has very little PP. And we may need that for additional Whirlipedes or whatever. I'm also assuming that Whirlipede is the, the second form. That there's a third form. A fully evolved form of Venipede Vin later. So yeah, you just have to double tap Y instead of single tap Y. In, ex in exchange, you can register multiple items. So that's pretty nice. Very nice. I like how the items with the registration system is in this game. Okay, let's fight another person. I'm gonna fight you. No, I'm not going to fight you. We're gonna fight this musician? Musician. Hum fiercely my battle song, battle fiercely. This guy's a bard. He's gonna sing a song to improve his Pokemon's stats. Musician Preston. He's got a Blitzel. Okay, so, uh... We know that Blitzels can use Flare Charge. Um, gosh, like I want to see, like I want to see how well Blair takes this, but I, at the same time I don't. So we're gonna go to Justin. I want to see about how much damage it's gonna deal, and I don't want to be taking super effective damage while I see that. So, and plus this way we get an Intimidate off as well. Oh, Thunder Wave. Okay, cool. Or, uh, not cool, really. But, uh, we're gonna stroke this thing with Dig. Flame Charge, yeah. Kind of a random move to throw in an Electric type, but, uh, definitely works. Makes it very effective against Grass types now, so. Another Blitzel. Which is gonna get dug up. Dug up again. We, we gotta get Blair up to level 33. Like, no way she evolves any later than 36. No starter has ever evolved any later than 36. I'm understand you the best. We get an item. The electric guitar. Okay, that, based on that sound effect, yeah, it's a prop case. Why don't you click on to hold the electric guitar? Go to the musical theater. Cooler than cool. Okay, so we get a prop. And I'm uh, surprised we didn't double battle these guys. By the way, I wonder if it's possible to do a true triple. Like, right up here. With, like, these three people? That'd be pretty funny. Let's, uh, let's battle this guy, maybe. Let me turn you into a work of art! Sounds like some sort of twisted magician who's gonna turn us into a painting. Or maybe just paint this because he's an artist. Artist Horton. He's got a single lip. This, uh, rad, rad-looking thing. So, yeah, we, we still have a long way to go. Level 33. 
Uh, a couple options we could go to here. Um, our best option, I believe, is um, is probably Sally for the Psychic Resistance. Justin, no, she, she's got to do a, a, an air attack and just know it. Um, let's see, who would be better for this? Okay, we're, we're going to go to Billy. We do have a backup water type now in the form of Cooper if something does happen to Billy. So, Whirlwind, so he's just going to make us switch out to something else anyway. What's it going to be? It's going to be right back to Blair. But I'm going to go right back to Billy and force him to do something. He doesn't have SR up, so we're fine doing that. No SR in this game. Whirlwind again! Stop doing that! How much you want to bet the AI cheats in this game, too? Justin's dragged out, but uh, since he didn't take a hit coming in, I'm just going to go for a crunch and say, screw you, single lip. Justin still has black glasses, too, so it's going to take this thing out in one shot. Yeah, screw you. You want to bring Justin in? Free? I'm cool with that. Cool with that. Uh, so much rage. So much rage. Here is a... Dancer of some sort, right? This is a dancer. Okay, I thought it was female, but uh, I guess they just have dreads. Okay, now I feel really bad for when that uh, dancer told me to take what I thought at the time was a girl to take, quote unquote, take me for a whirl. Wow, that was perverted. Okay, um, this thing. Likes to damage us a lot with stuff. We're going to go to Cooper. Cooper's not going to tolerate this Dharmica. We're going to terminate. Terminate. Terminate with a turtle. Headbutt resisted. Over 10, fool. And... Aqua Jet. There we go. Sod. Again, resisted over 10. I'm not sure where I got that over 10 from. Um, oh, I remember where I got it from. I got it from, uh, an Advance Wars board I used to go to for, uh, raiding over 10. And then if something was so stupid, it was put not rated over 10 or something like that. So I just adapted that to general purpose for being something over 10 was something, something, I don't know. It was a something. That's an uproar. Yeah, I'm glad we have a rock type now. Resisting those normal moves, fire moves, all that good stuff. And solid rock in case something sneaks in a weak grass attack on there. Turn around, turn around, turn around, round, round. Okay, we still do not have Blair leveled up. We need to level up Blair. Blair must obtain more levels. More levels for Blair are needed. Yeah, this video's already gone on like an hour and 15 minutes. And, uh, well, that includes the time I spent on the phone, so. Yeah, apparently. Apparently, uh, the Alabama men's basketball team, uh, failed to make the NCAA tournament, but we're in the. whatever tournament, which is probably over by the time of this uploading. Um, yeah, I don't really care for basketball whatsoever. Um, of the big sports in the U.S., basketball is probably my least favorite. Um, you know, I'm not exactly a big sports fan to begin with anyway. But yeah, I think basketball is probably bottom tier for me. Sorry, sorry basketball fans. Anyway, we're gonna get off the bike. And, uh, watch, we, watch us get some little... Nope, still Trubbish. Yeah, at least... Uh, well, that makes me feel better if Trubbish is at least common. You know, that way it's not something that's just my problem. Everyone who knows locks this th game has this problem, so... Uh, we're gonna go to Justin, because Justin is super effective to this Trubbish. And uh, he'll also resist any poison moves as well. Like this Acid Spray. Which deals 3 damage, and the defense drop is a little consequence, because we will dig to finish this thing off. Yeah, very nice that we got the dig TM. Very glad that there's a TM for dig. Otherwise, we'd be stuck using Sand Tomb or some retarded little 
no damage dealing crap like that. Okay, so yeah, pretty bad, pretty, pretty bad experience from this. Um, at least if Blair can evolve, I can say that this video wasn't totally horrible. Why is Crunch down there? I like screwed up my moves. Oh no, I'm Justin, seriously. Okay, here we go. There's a Pokeball over here we're gonna get. This big bag. What do you think is inside? Probably a tent and a sleeping bag and some other stuff. A couple of Pokeballs. She's got two Pokeballs in her backpack, but she only has one dude. Okay, she's got a Muna. We're not too afraid of a level 23 Muna. Seriously, why hasn't Blair evolved yet? Anyway, Leaf Blade. Whack him with a sword made of leaves for a one-hit KO. Backpacker Lois goes down. Let's see what this Pokeball is. Got a great ball, which makes up for the one that we kind of wasted on Latasha. Seriously, can we start getting some guys that I have nicknames for? Um, let's see what else is in this route. Yeah, see, here's this thing. This is what I wanted. Is a, a solo assist, but instead we got trash. So whatever. We're gonna mega, or we're gonna leaf blade, and see if we can kill this thing one hit. Neutral damage. So I'm not really not sure what type this thing is. I'm not really sure. It looks like it could be electric type, but anyway. And see now we get two in a row. Good grief. Uh. I don't know. At least we can maybe use the Trubbish, the higher level Trubbish. Snatch. Okay. Yeah, we can use the Trubbish for Repel. And, you know, make sure that we get a decently high level Pokemon, whatever we get. So, that'll be cool. But, uh, yeah. Our next video, our next time we have a grind session, it'll probably be Audino grinding in one of these two routes. So, we're going to try that. Because we have quite a bit of money now. Palpitoad. Okay, this looks like it may be the evolved form of Temple, right? So we have a, a, poly, a little uh, little uh, tadpole evolved into this uh, this thing, I'm assuming. We're going to do a Leaf Blade, probably kill it in one shot. This seems like something that would learn Soak. So we're going to see if we can get a level up here. We can. Level 33. Even stat gains. All right, I want to see some evolution. I want to see some evolution so I can, so I can call this a good video. Good video, come on, good video, good video. What the crap? Ugh. Okay, like seriously, revive another useless item. Like, why isn't Blair evolving? She needs to evolve. Like, if she doesn't evolve at 34, I'm going to call Bollocks on this whole thing. Because she evolved at 17. That's one level later than normal. So, and I can't deal with this Trubbish. So, we're going to go to Justin to do this. Gosh, such rage. Rage in this video. One of my dudes needs to learn Rage so I can use Rage. Because I'm raging right now. Toxic Spikes. We don't care. Toxic Spikes. We're going to kill you. Kill the trash bag with thing. Anyway, I I'm considering, if possible, to go out on that bridge and maybe try to get that duck. Because I kind of want to get that duck. The duck is kind of cool. And, uh, maybe a female duck would be cool. I, would I would wouldn't mind that. That'd be cool. Let's get this Pokeball. Hopefully it's a TM. It's a Zinc, so we're probably going to sell that uh, in the future to get some more money. And there's some dude on a... Uh, after, uh, I don't know, encounter it looks like. Oh, this is double battle grass. Okay. Way to not notice that, Cooper. And, uh, intimidate will work on both of these things. Um, so let's do, let's do Leaf Blade on Soul Assist. And we're gonna do Crunch on Soul Assist as well. Fake out. We'll cancel Blair's turn. Crunch with black glasses, killing a soul assist in one hit, and leaving us with just a life hard left. So leaf blade, and we're just gonna do mud slap. Should be sufficient to finish that, that thing off. Fails to fake out because it's stupid. 
And yeah, Blair is one-shotting stuff with Leaf Blade. So if she evolves, she should be a pretty pretty powerful sweeping force for us. And yeah, this is Double Battle Grass, so... Uh, I, I had I was having a conversation with A180 about the Double Battle Grass and what happens if it's the first thing you see in a route. And uh, I think in general, I'm just going to avoid having Double Battle Grass be the first thing I see in a route. But uh, in that case... I, th I think I'll just pick whichever one I want, which would sort of make it um, advantageous for me to do that, but, you know, whatever. I'm just going to avoid Double Battle Grass for my uh, first encounter guy. Or, si since it's apparently not a forced Double Battle, you know, I could just do the first single battle, but whatever. We're just, we're just going to avoid Double Battle Grass in general. I'm going to kill this, this piece of trash. But I, I, I gotta say, I am pretty upset that we got two of it, like, uh, but anyway. I mean, I, I like our team right now, we got Cooper, so, that's cool. And I wouldn't mind- Okay, stop with the wild battles! And stop with it being this trubbish, because I can't leave Blair in on it because she's weak to poison. I mean, honestly, she, should pro she could probably kill this stuff. But, uh, I mean, Justin needs level ups, too, so... Anyway, we're gonna intimidate this guy. Because, I, I gotta say, I really like this, this crocodile. This, uh, sand crocodile. I really like him. He's pretty cool. So, we're gonna dig. And dig needs to have more PP. Seriously, it does. Acid spray. Void. Okay, stop having wild battles. Now, stop having them. Okay, good. I hope we're like mega over level for the gym leader and we can just pound her face in. Like, to uh, the drawbridge to Driftville City, right? The drawbridge is raised so ships can pass. You can't cross. You make a request to drift. Clay. Okay. That's freaking fantastic. Okay, so we cannot go over this bridge. Um, there's a pretty good chance that we can't go across the other bridge either. But, uh, anything special down here? Let's activate the dowsing machine. Try to get some goodies. Yes, there's a Pokeball down here. We got a Hyper Potion. And all that way, just for a Hyper Potion. Let's activate Bicycle and activate, no, activate Bicycle and dowsing machine. Go! I love the little claps and stuff in here, that's really cool. Yeah, I don't see any items on radar. So it looks like there's no dowsing machine items in here. Okay, so... Yeah, Blair was was not leveled up. Did not reach her next stage of evolution. I really, 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 really want her to evolve. Um, if for no other reason than... I'm afraid something retarded is going to happen and we're going to lose her. And I at least want to find out what the next stage of evolution for the starter is. I want to see what the final form of the starter is. So I want to see that. Here's a biker we can we can take on. And it looks like there's another backpacker up there we can fight to try to get Blair up to the next level. Cyclist Hector has a Whirlipede. Probably one of the worst things we could fight right now. Is it, I believe, 4x resists grass, and we can't take this thing. We have to go to Cooper for this. And this thing has Pursuit, too. So it doesn't deal too much to Blair, however. Holy crap, yeah. If this video is, uh... If I do manage to salvage the first part of this video that got destroyed by the BSOD, I think, then this is gonna be like a over well over two hour video. You should power. Good job, me. Got a critical hit there, I think. Another whirlipede. It's gonna go straight for ancient power. Pursuit. Okay. Yeah, go Cooper. Yeah, totally awesome. I want I want to grind Cooper up, but um. I don't think we're going to. I just don't think we're going to. 
Poison, why does Poison Point always activate when we kill something? Anyway. Some more money. And, uh, yeah, here's a... So check this out. In every RPG ever, right? Truly marvelous. And also a bridge. Oh, this bridge is being checked. Okay, so we can't go through here. So in every RPG ever, if you're poisoned, it remains after a battle. And it does, or, you know, it does damage every step or whatever, right? Not anymore. Not in this game, apparently. Apparently, poison status in game is no longer that annoying. It no longer damages you, which, you know, is more consistent with burn not damaging you in the same way, but still really, really weird. And, uh, I mean, sort of defeats the whole purpose of, you know, like, the very first Pokemon that was ever lost in a Nuzlocke challenge was a Beautifly, I think. I think it was a Beautifly at that point, yeah. Ruby's Beautifly to Poison. And that's not possible in here, and that sort of makes me sad, but oh well. Me being sad is nothing new in this game, so okay. Good grief. Yeah. Yeah, this part is officially my least favorite part. Part 5 was actually one of my. Uh, I actually kind of liked Part 5 because of all the crap that happened. But, you know, this part is. Nothing good happened, I feel like, in this part. And here's that, uh, Minkino. Another probably a normal type that wouldn't be too useful, but anyway, it's something to kill. Um, I mean, we got we got Cooper, that was good, and I was hoping we were gonna get two other sweet guys, and we got two bags of trash. So, you know, one bag of trash would have been okay. Um, two bags of trash is not okay. It's not okay. Not okay. I'm not okay with this. There's there's a forest. Forest. We can go in here. We can get a new guy. Right? This is the the Lost Lauren Forest. Okay, new area. New area. New stuff. Um We wanna make sure we get a good guy. What we're gonna do we're gonna put Cooper at the start of the party. And we're gonna see if there's anyone like level twenty six in here that we can get. Because that would be pretty cool. Um Or else it's gonna be an Audino. Wouldn't that be cool if we caught an Audino, guys? That'd be so cool. We got a big mushroom. And we're gonna look for look for higher level guys. There's a backpacker dude here. There's a, there's a truck. You know there are people in the world with many different values. Some people enjoy things you might not think are fun. Yeah, I know how that feels. I know how that feels. Um, that's everyone else and me. Everyone else doesn't think that uh, grinding and EV training and IV breeding is fun. I do. I think it's really fun. That's what I enjoy enjoy doing. I like doing that better than actually Wi-Fi battling, but I'm weird. So, uh, having a lot of different values in the world makes it a richer place. See? Cooper, you make the world a richer place. That's right. I'm special. That's what they tell me, anyway. I really enjoy traveling the world, around the world, talking with people, but the woman who lives here seems to think living quietly by herself is important. Hey, that sounds exactly like me. So, this is, we're going to raid your stuff. Cool. This is, this is one of my uh, favorite characters in the game. I'm just going to say. Um, I don't know, she doesn't have, probably doesn't have a name, but uh, this is, this is my, one of my favorite characters in the game so far, i got to say. I don't know if she'll become relevant later or not. Okay, Repel's effects were off. And, um, yeah, we're going to... I'm gonna make sure we at least get a, like a level 21 or 22 guy. Let's see, do we have? Is this, this is the wrong pocket. No, it's not the wrong pocket. Um, I know we have at least one more repel. I think we have some super repel. Yeah, we do. Okay, yeah, we're gonna use a repel. Use a repel. And yeah, I wouldn't mind getting an auto though. That would be, I'd be okay with that. Um, just cause I want to see like what kind of abilities it has and stuff. It looks like we're kind of cut off from there until we use strength with someone, so... Oh, hey, that's a good idea. Let's see if we... These trash bags can learn cut or strength. That would sort of make them useful. Not really, but... They'd have some sort of purpose. Those effects were off. 
It's such a such a lively town. Okay, let's let's go back to the PC. We're gonna move stuff. Um, we're gonna take let's see Aaron. Going to party in the party. Okay, party Pokemon. Let's take let's take Sally. Let's take Sally out temporarily. And uh, we're also gonna take Billy out temporarily. And we're gonna get we're gonna get Tasha as higher level. We're gonna take her in our party so that whoever we encounter in the forest will be at least level 21. At least level 21. And uh, let's buy some repels too. Just a couple of repel. Let's see, can we buy anything new? Not really. Um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and buy three more super repel. And yeah, we have a lot of money now. That's very good because we beat a couple of athletes and stuff. We're gonna buy three repel. And this is the place with the TMs, right? I don't think there's any really good TMs though, so we can get in game just yet. Um, yeah, gyro ball. No one gets stabbed on gyro ball. We like we like fast people anyway. Um, these things can be traded through, so whatever to them. Yeah, I like that T-Wave is relatively cheap. 10,000 is not that much for a TM that can be used infinite amounts of times. So, or T that is fairly cheap, so cool. Okay, let's, let's go. Oh, we need to check HM compatibility. I bet this thing, like, can't learn any kind of HMs. It's just a, literally a piece of trash. Um, for the sake of checking, I'll check false swipe as well. Um, yeah, unable. Struggle bug. I'm interested in seeing the struggle bug. Um, yeah, kind of a neat thing. But again, it, it can be critted through, so we don't care. Cut. HM1. And, yep. Tasha is unable to learn it. Strength. Come on, at least learn strength. Nope, it's a bag of trash. Aaron, Justin, and Cooper are able to learn strength if we need it. But, um, I don't know. So, we're gonna go back into this, in this forest here, right? Yeah, we're gonna go in this forest. Yeah, you see, we could, we could cut this down, but no, the bag of trash is useless, so, um, I feel like, hmm, see, I just don't know what else could occur in this forest. But, uh, right now I don't see any other... Oh, crap, crap. That was close. I did not mean to walk through that grass. Um, we're gonna put Aaron at the front of the party. And we're gonna also have Tasha ready if Aaron fails us. So, we're gonna throw up a Repel. Repel is somewhere here. Here we go, Repel. And we're gonna see if we can encounter a level 23 or, or 24 or higher guy. Let's see. I don't know would be fine too. Come on, I don't know or high level guy. Come on, we want, we want a good guy. Yeah, there's some stuff up here. Looks like double battle grass up there. I'm not sure how we get up there. And yeah, we're not encountering anything, so repels effects were off. Okay, we're going to switch to Tasha at the front of the party then, so we can at least get a level 21 guy. And uh, if we can't get a level 21 guy. Honestly, I'm just not gonna bother. Okay, here we go. Should get a guy now, right? Yeah, here we go. Okay, let's see what we're gonna get in the forest. If it's another trash egg, I'm gonna scream. And it's another bird. Okay, well, I'm okay with this, I guess. It's better than another trash bag, certainly. Um, let's see what we wanna go to. I don't really have anyone good to go. Oh, never mind. I have Cooper. Cooper! You resist everything that Tranquil can throw at us. Yeah! Roost. Well, this is gonna be... This is gonna be an ordeal. We're gonna use Wide Guard. I wanna see what this does. Wide Guard. It's like a Wide Protect. Quick Attack. Okay, yeah, okay. That's what I thought it did. So, Wide Guard is not like Protect for both guys. That would be pretty sweet if it was. Um, it looks like it only protects against things that target both guys. So if it targets single one guy, then it does not protect against it, so, I don't know if that, like, if you use Surf, which targets both, 
in doubles if it still blocks Surf in singles or not. So, interesting move. But uh, we're going to use Aqua Jet. Aqua Jet. Okay, it looks like uh, yeah, it's going to roost anyway. Roost back to full life. Yeah, we're going to catch this thing. At least it is fairly high level. Quick attack. Yeah, Cooper's going to tank all these hits. No problem. Um, I believe a crit would not kill it at this much life, so we're going to Aqua Jet again. Okay, and it's going to roost, which is going to put me in a, a decision-making mode now. Oh, no, never mind. Yeah, we, we can go for it again. Critical hit will not kill it at that much life. Aqua Jet. And, uh, yeah, that's a little bit too low for me to go for it. So we're going to throw a, a great ball at this thing. And, uh, once again, it's a female. I'm dead serious. With, what is this with game with the females? And broke out at the last moment. I think that's one of the, uh, few failed capture balls we've had. Okay, so we're going to throw the Ultra Ball. Then just... Oh, wait, the thing's at full life. Why am I doing throwing Ultra Balls when things are at full life? Stupid. Stupid. Anyway. Now, Roost makes this thing kind of annoying to catch. So we're going to use Aqua Jet. Honestly, Crunch would be a decent option as well. Critical hit. Aqua Jet. Yet again. Okay, cool. Now we can throw a ball and it is under half. So, Ultra Ball go. Really? Really, bird? And now it's going to use Leer. It decides to pull out Leer now. Okay. Throw another Ultra Ball, I guess. Even though I really don't need this bird. But, you know. Oh my gosh. Stop breaking out of the balls! I don't even need you! Like, seriously. Anyway. There, there looks like there are plenty of caves and stuff later, so we will be able to get more guys later on. But, uh, I'm really, I am really, I gotta say, I'm really disappointed with the guys we've gotten, these past three guys. Cooper, getting Cooper was great. Uh, these past three guys really bummed me out. Uh, we're gonna name you. Watch this like encounter a really cool guy after this. But, uh, that's how it goes. And it has a lot of challenges. So, this is our new guy. Has big, This one has big pecs. Um, rash nature. Kind of a really bad nature, actually. We don't want that special defense down. But uh, this is our new guy. We're not going to use, probably, unless we have to. And this is Catherine. Not anything like Kathy. She doesn't have, um, super luck like Kathy, so, anyway, this is our guy for this forest. Uh, anyway, yeah, this is officially my least favorite part of the LP. I th it's gonna be really tough to, um, to get any worse than this, I think. I think this is gonna be really tough for me to feel any worse while playing this than I do right now, and, uh... Yeah, because so much horrible crap happened. This is, is this part 14? Yeah, this is part 14. So, uh, you know, we staved off the horrible stuff in part 13, which was good, I guess. And then part 14, guess what came knocking? All the horrible stuff that should have happened in part 13 decided to happen in part 14. So, anyway. The one bright spot of this video 
which you guys didn't get to see because of one of the dark clouds of this video, which was the BSOD, or at least I'm assuming it is, is the obtaining of Cooper. Cooper, the Tiratoga water rock type with solid rock, naughty nature. Jasmine, beware. And holding the Iviolite because I'm assuming he evolves into an Archelon. So yeah, oh, I think that I think that whole part got cut out too. About that was with that got destroyed by the BSOD about me remarking about how this is based on an Archelon, the old ancient sea turtle that's like 10, 12 feet long from head to tail. Really awesome thing. A biggest turtle like ever. Pretty sweet. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be. I want Blair to level up at least one more time. Eh, one more time. Stop. Oh my gosh, boy, stop cracking. Yeah, I need to go to bed. Seriously, I need to go to bed. Um, yeah, Servine. We will see if we can get you to evolve. And uh, maybe level up Justin too. And next video, Alisa, you are going down. You're going to be the target of my wrath for getting two of this. And uh, I'm not really upset too bad about this Tranquil. I mean, I do like I do like this. Uh, it's just this is my favorite bird, so I'm not too upset with it. But, uh, we definitely prefer Kathy. We definitely like Kathy better. And, uh, actually this thing is close to Kathy's level. But, uh, yeah, we like Kathy better. Kathy is much better. We really like Kathy better. Yeah. The only different move is, uh, Leer is work up on Kathy. But, anyway. Um. Let's put Sally back in the party. Let's put this other piece of trash... It's literally a piece of trash. That's sad, but anyway. Um, yeah, we'll, 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 I'll go ahead and keep... So do we want to keep this, this party of five? Yeah, we'll keep this party of five. But I think for the gym leader, we will only have Justin and Blair. Because that's the only ones, really, that can do anything. Um, I don't know. Aaron might be able to. But... I mean, if I lose... Aaron, I'm going to be really upset, and I definitely want to keep my turtle and my bat, because they're not going to be helpful against electric types, neither are these two, so yeah, we're just probably going to leave them at home, in case stupid crap occurs, and uh, hopefully, Crocorock will sweep, is what we're hoping right now, however, if she has that stupid um, flying squirrel thing, I don't know, but uh, we're going to try to sweep with Crocorock, possibly using some X attack and stuff. And, uh, here is poor Justine, who got, I don't, I don't even want to talk about that anymore. Um, that was absolutely the most retarded thing I've ever seen happen in a Nuzlocke Challenge. So, whatever. Sacrifice in the name of science. But anyway, we have five guys in the box, and five guys in the party. So we have a total of ten guys, which is cool. Three of the guys are just kind of sitting out there and going to hang out. But next video, we will get Blair up. Whoop, can't look, can't look, don't look. Okay. And uh, hit the wrong thing. I, I'm used to this number four spot being saved still. So save is straight down. Anyway, uh, we will get Blair. Hopefully get her evolved for the gym. But even if we don't, then we will have Crocorock here, Justin, who will take out the gym for us. So, you know, there's, there's these little dots in the bottom screen that I take to be the progress of the save. That's pretty cool. We are saying the Nimbasa City, city of many sports. All right, so uh, we didn't be a SOD on this part. So I'll see you guys next in part 15 for Elisa, or whoever, and then I guess across the bridge to the next town where maybe we'll get a duck, hopefully. Later days.